fellow aerodynamicists, this is Professor Wong. We have already built a wing. Today, we are going to add a fuselage and complete the airplane. We continue from our previous CAT model, which we made a wing. This time we make a fuselage. The start of a fuselage is the nose, which is one point at the origin. Then we add additional cross sections to the fuselage. The first cross section is a circle with radius of 1. So here we make a circle by specifying a super ellipse with the major and minor axis both equal to 1. And then we rotate it around the y axis by 90 degrees so that the super ellipse is lined up with the y z direction. We place the first cross section at x equal to 1. The second cross section is another super ellipse. Now this time with a different length in the y versus z direction. And we place the second cross section at x equal to 5. The third cross section is identical to the first cross section but placed at x equals to 8. And the final cross section is a super ellipse that has a different length in the y versus z direction and that is placed at x equal to 10. So the total length of the fuselage is going to be equal to 10. After we blend it, we see that the nose ends up to be sharp. If we want a rounded nose, we need to add some additional parameters to the blend command. Here, we specify a radius of curvature of 0.5 in the y direction, as well as a radius of curvature also 0.5 in the z direction. Now we see we get a nice rounded nose of the fuselage. Finally, we also need to put both face name and group names onto the fuselage. When we are meshing the airplane, we can specify the mesh refinement using the face name. And when computing forces and moment on just the fuselage, we can use the group name. Finally, we store the fuselage just like we stored the wing. Now the critical step is to union or combine the fuselage with the wings. To start, we restore the wing. That command retrieves the wing that we stored previously. Note that we have previously built it's only one side of the wing. We need both wings, the other wing on the port side being the mirror of the wing we have made on the starboard side. We are restoring two copies of the wing. The second copy is going to be mirrored. How we make the mirror is to retrieve the wing again and then mirror it around the XZ plan. Now we can see that we have both sides of the wings. Next step is to restore also the fuselage. And now we see that we have a complete airplane. However, this is not ready for CFD yet. This is because the fuselage and the wings are not combined together in a nice way. They simply intersect each other. And if you try to mesh this geometry, you're going to get an error because this geometry is not watertight. In order to make this geometry watertight, we have to union both wings together with the fuselage. This is the command for performing this union.
as you can see this command unions just the two previous bodies which is the fuselage and the port side of the wings you have to specify union 100 to union everything starting from the mark command now you can see that we have an entire airplane as a watertight geometry in the next video we will make a mesh of this watertight airplane geometry